Canterbury Falls is classified as a Thames Ribbon Cascade. This beautiful waterfall is 9 meters in height and 4 meters in width and is visible throughout the year. The water flowing over the brow to create Canterbury Falls is a tributary of Sulphur Creek. The terrain found within the upper valley is characteristic of Kettle and Came topography. This terrain is composed of till deposited during the melting of an extensive block of stagnant glacial ice. The Dundas Valley is home to a wide variety of plant and animal species, many of which are provincially and nationally rare. The protection of these natural features is of paramount concern to the Hamilton Conservation Authority and the public at large. The natural history of this area is full of fascinating features. The Central Valley and Ridge Forests of the Dundas Valley are considered representative of an upland wood system on a rolling landscape. The south-facing slopes provide a warmer microclimate which supports a number of Carolinian species. History Canterbury Falls and Little Canterbury Falls are located on land which was once owned by the Milne family. Lieutenant William Milne, 1766-1826, bought the land in 1819. In 1845, the land was sold to Alexander Tower. Canterbury Falls derived its more noted title from a nearby property owned and operated by the Anglican Church of Canada. Canterbury Hills Camp and Conference Centre This property was purchased in 1935 by the Lions Club of Hamilton for the creation of a summer camp for disabled children. In 1960 the Anglican Diocese of Niagara purchased the property to create a place where people could see God's purpose related to nature and develop respect for individual worth. Environmental Message the natural environment surrounding this waterfall is abundant with sensitive plant and wildlife species. Hiking off trail to get a closer look can cause a negative impact on the natural environment. Please take care when traveling through this environmentally significant area. Be mindful of nature's delicate balance by staying on the blazed trail and please stay off the slopes of the valley. Do your part to ensure that those who visit in the future can enjoy the views as they exist today. Take only pictures and please carry out what you carry in. Acadian flycatcher. Empedonax varescens. First noticed by its explosive, loud, and high-pitched call. This North American flycatcher is considered to be an interior forest bird that prefers to build its nests over areas of water known to be an excellent flyer. The Acadian flycatcher is able to hover and even flies backwards. Wild ginger. Acerum canadense. This freshly perennial herb was historically used to treat whooping cough and stomach aches, to ease childbirth and to treat wounds. It grows up to 16 centimeters tall and annually produces two leaves and one deep purple flower tucked under the leaves.